I've just repositioned up onto the damn wall so we've had got a different view of them. And again, I mean, what, what do you say in a situation like this? It's just a magnificent sighting, two leopards, not related. Well, technically not related, uh, I suppose same mother, but um, but that old female is not the mother of this young male. So Tandi and Hosanna. No, Nikki, <laughs> I, I don't know. You asked what would happen if that big male leopard, Tingana, bumped into these two leopards now. Um, I, you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I'm going to move quickly. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's almost like this female leopard wants to get, get rid of this male, but he's following her. He's being persistent. Um... If Tingana had happened to bump into them, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, it's so tricky, it's so tricky. Will he chase the young male off? Will he try and mate with the female? I, you know, I think so. I think he may try and mate with the female. Um, but then again, then again he may not, because we know with leopards, the females are the ones that instigate the mating. <laughs> the males don't really have to do much. They just need to have a large territory. They need to be big and successful. There we go. There's a nice view of them right here. Craig, is that okay? There we go. And um, as I was saying, the males have to have a big territory, dominant male, successful, and the females will go and look for them. So the males... Uh, in a way kind of have it easy look it's not easy defending your territory and your dominance but if you do that the females will come to you So if Tengana had to bump into these two, who knows what would happen. He could pos possibly tolerate them, he could possibly tolerate this young male. I think he may recognize that it is his offspring. Um, I think they've bumped into each other before. Purely judging by tracks that we've seen, I haven't seen them together. But I do think, you know, at night, again, with these leopards moving around so much, they often bump into one another. Mimi, um, you've basically asked if if there are multiple males around, will the female mate with uh, with a number of them? So, in order to ensure the safety of her cubs, yes, I've seen females g move around and mate with a number of males, two or three males um, that are in close proximity. Maybe the territories are very close to one another, and she her territory possibly overlaps with with two of their territories. Uh, territories then um, yes you will mate with both males so that they both think um, that the offspring is theirs I've seen females do that before if there's just one dominant male around then she probably wouldn't have to oh that's interesting look at that is he scent marking or is he just urinating against the bush because he's seen another leopard do it He's still far too young to set up a territory. That's why he's nomadic. That's why he's moving through these areas. We see him all over the show. Um, he's still completely in his mother's territory. And you see, he's, he's, listen, you might still hear contact calls. He's contact calling a bit. He's, he's so hesitant. It's almost like he doesn't know what to do. He's not sure how to approach this female. Now, 
please don't don't think that this male uh, this young male is is setting up a territory he's not sent Mark in to set up territory I can promise you that he's too young he's far too young he's only a year and a half old it's it's impossible he will get pushed out he will get chased I, th I think he's just urinating he's rubbing up against some trees and that but it's definitely not sent marking to to take over territory perhaps or anything like that I think he's just uh, he's trying to show off perhaps for this female but he he won't know what to do and the way he's he's reacting and he's um, I mean he's being quite submissive he keeps moving away from her sooner she growls at him that's a nice view of her still sitting close to the dam yeah, Egyptian geese basically alarm calling at the leopard that's the sound that you can hear That's interesting behavior and you know sometimes all we can do is observe and I think I think to, to be honest I think us trying to understand every little bit of interaction or behavior that these animals do I, th I think it's a bit difficult and I think um, I, th I think we need to be cautious of that I think that occasionally it's just wonderful to view observe and perhaps learn and see what happens we might not necessarily understand it completely but that's okay these are wild animals it's uh, we're not meant to completely understand them anyway maybe some food for thought you can let me know what you think. Don't forget, hashtag Safari Live, everyone. Send us your questions and comments. Let's head across back to Tara, who's got a spotlight out. See what her plan is for the early evening.